What's going on? Today, we are gonna be talking about which platform is best for your e-commerce store. The main four we're gonna talk about, actually the only four we're gonna talk about here is Shopify, WooCommerce, BigCommerce, and Square. Now there are other things out there like big solutions that, for example, Best Buy doesn't use this. Amazon doesn't use any of these. But if you're looking into building an e-commerce website, these are the main four you're gonna be looking at. So let's just take a quick dive into each, starting with Shopify. Shopify is really the, the, it's what started it all on this, on these kind of quick and easy to use platforms for e-commerce. Uh, what's really good about Shopify is they have a vast array of plugins. So everything integrates with Shopify because they've been around so dang long. So it's really good on that end. Um, I actually personally don't really like Shopify for a few other reasons we'll get into later, but let's quickly talk about the price of Shopify. So Shopify starts at $5. Then it goes, their next tier up is 29, and then above that is 79, and then um, once you get really big, they have uh, Shopify Plus, which minimum starts at two grand uh, a month. And, and to be, this is the reason I don't like Shopify, is because, for example, to do what you can do in WooCommerce, in Shopify, you have to be on this level of membership, two grand per month. Um, it just doesn't give you the flexibility. Now, that being said, if you're not a web developer or you can't afford to hire an agency like us, um, Shopify is very easy and you, it's easy to understand and, and will get you up and running. Next, we're gonna talk about WooCommerce. WooCommerce is, you can do pretty much anything you want. It's completely customizable as it's based off WordPress and WordPress, 70% of all the websites on the World Wide Web are WordPress and WooCommerce is part of WordPress. Um, so it can be anywhere from zero dollars up to as much as you want to spend. I mean, our website builds start at about five thousand for normal websites. For e-commerce, they start at seventy-five hundred to ten grand, and and go up from there. So it depends on what you're doing. Um, I would not recommend WooCommerce if you're just trying to get something up and running by yourself, um, unless you have web, unless your background was in web development. Then awesome. Then I would definitely recommend WooCommerce. Now, Big Commerce. BigCommerce is the new kid on the block and they're trying to compete with Shopify. But what's cool about BigCommerce is a lot of the stuff that you have to pay extra for in Shopify comes working out of the box in BigCommerce. Let me give you an example. So for discounts, um, in Shopify, all you can do is percentage or direct dollars, like 50% off or you know $4 off your product. In big commerce, you can do things like buy two get free, but buy two get one free, uh, as well as obviously the percentage and, and the other regular discounts. But it gives you a lot more flexibility straight out of the box. Now let's get into pricing for big commerce. So for price for big commerce, it starts at twenty nine ninety five per month. Then it goes to seventy nine ninety five, and then it goes. 299.95 and then they have end up. Um, so after you get to after you're doing 400k a year in revenue, it's going to be like call for a price. So for what do you get for 29.95? Uh, it's if your revenue. So all of them are fully featured, but it's based on how much revenue you do per year. So 50k or less uh, in revenue per year, you're at 29.95. Uh, if you're at 180K um, in revenue or less, you're at 79.95. And then 400K or less in annual revenue, you're at 299.95. If you're making more than $400,000 a year, uh, then you would be talking to, just give them a ring and talk to them about it. So lastly, let's move on to Square. So Square is kind of it's in its own realm. And here's what I mean. If you're an e-commerce business that isn't selling brick and mortar, you only selling online, just stay away from Square. It's not, not even worth looking into. Where Square excels is if you're selling the majority of your product in store and you kind of just want to have a little bit of a web presence. The reason I say this is Square does things like payroll, it can file taxes, it can do a whole host of really good business features. Or if you're a service-based business and you're running your businesses off of just sending out invoices, then Square can work really well. 
Um, but their feature set for building e-commerce websites is very minimal, um, and it's, I just wouldn't um, recommend it. Where it does excel, though, like I said, if it's your primary business is a brick and mortar store selling products out of that location, then Square is by far and away the best out of all of these because you can manage your team, like you can have employees on there, you can have payroll on there, you can have taxes on there, you can do a whole bunch of stuff that the other ones can't even touch. And if you're not selling very much online and you just want a website, then Square would be the way to go. Otherwise, I'd stay away from Square. Like I said, if you're WooCommerce, if you're hiring an agency like us, we're probably gonna do everything on WooCommerce with the exception of some clients just really love Shopify, so we do it on Shopify for them. Um, so if you're a web developer or you're hiring a professional agency, agency <laughs> they're gonna probably do WooCommerce. If you're doing it yourself, I'd recommend between one of these two. And really, it depends on how many plugins you're gonna need and like the exact capabilities you need. I recommend big commerce over Shopify most of the time. However, because they're newer, if there's certain, if you're like in a certain market that maybe they don't have plugins yet built for big commerce yet, then you might have to go with Shopify. Um, so you'd want to play around and see which one would be best for you. Um, but again, if you're hiring an agency like us, we're going to build everything on WooCommerce because we can. It's going to be completely custom, and there's nothing we can't do. With Shopify and BigCommerce, you're kind of limited by what the platform and their API code will let you do. With WooCommerce, we can do whatever the hell we want. So, all right guys, so lastly, like, comment, subscribe. If you have any questions, leave them down below and maybe I'll make a new video about them. Or if you wanna know maybe more in depth about one of these products, let me know so I can make a video. It's Ben Real, again, my name's Jack with Creative JC. Please like, comment, share, subscribe, and I'm out.